Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. We're doing the third part of our Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter Tea Party. My daughter ordered this beautiful backdrop that she thought would be perfect for the Mad Hatter Tea Party. Isn't it beautiful? Then she decorated with a bunch of beautiful flowers. Guess who from? Mackenzie Childs. I know. We are crazy. And as you can see how beautiful the flowers are. We were so lucky to get some that went perfect with the Mad Hatter theme for this challenge. Are they not beautiful? Of course, we need to fill in a few more holes and put a few more flowers in it. Hope you are enjoying how it is looking. And here it is with some more Mackenzie Child flowers. Aren't they beautiful? She actually had enough to do the whole top of the window. And when she was done, it was so beautiful. And of course, the backdrop looked beautiful. And the beautiful green drapes on each side were gorgeous also. I couldn't believe how pretty the window turned out. Look at how beautiful everything looks. That backdrop, the flowers, everything was just so beautiful so wonderfully put together. My daughter is so good at putting great displays together. Look at how that backdrop looks. It is just beautiful and fits perfectly into our theme for today. The Mad Hatter Tea Party. Oh, 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 I love it, don't you? All the beautiful flowers and mushrooms and all the things that make it Alice in Wonderland, all the beautiful teapots. And as you see, my daughter did her best to decorate this beautiful display too. She found so many beautiful things to share with you. I hope you appreciate all the work she has put together and how many months she spent collecting all these beautiful pieces on the buffet table. Aren't they beautiful? Let me know which was your favorite. Good morning to everyone. It is Alice in Wonderland Tea Party. Isn't it wonderful? The Mad Hatter, as you can see, she looks a little cranky. Maybe she knows what's coming her way. Doesn't look too happy, does she? Does she, Debbie? No, she doesn't. Probably because they told her she couldn't come to the tea party. And she said, I'm here, I'm coming in. You think that's why she's not happy? Yeah, maybe they're not sharing their duties with her. Oh my gosh. Thought it turned out really nice. This is the buffet at the Mad Hatter Tea Party. Awesome job helping decorate the Mad Hatter Tea Party Buffet, Debbie. Yeah, but all that's missing is some little treats. <gasps> treats? So we'll have to uh, find some. Find some treats and put it in there. Oh, look at all the wonderful things that was found to make this display so beautiful. What was your favorite thing? Please let us know in the comment section. I thought it was looking really wonderful. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see a couple highlights from the buffet. Well, Debbie, where did you get this wonderful clock with the little legs? Is it supposed to be a little table? Well, you can lay it down on your side table or you can hang it. Um, and I thought it'd be really cute laying it down. And I got it at the Goodwill. Ooh, can't remember. I believe the original price was $9.99 and I was on sale, but I don't remember if it was on the 25% off or the 50% off. And I also noticed it has Paris in the center of this clock. That's right. It's serving dual purpose. It's going to be used for the Mad Hatter Tea Party, but it goes up into my Paris room that I'm working on. She's working on the Paris room. Did you guys hear that? Paris room? Oh my gosh. We have so much to look forward to. And if Grandma ever gets her B room done, she will have the B room also. <laughs> and then look at these beautiful center of these little small center. What do you call them? A center thing? A centerpiece? Or? They wouldn't be center 
are pieces, but they're just, um, you know. Little displays. Display of a cup and, cup and saucer. But they're made out of um, flowers. They have a cute little spoon. I just love the little spoon. Isn't it cute? And somebody that Debbie knows made them. And I thought they did a wonderful job. Shadow, but I'm trying to get you to see how pretty that butterfly is too, how my, nice it is. And then we have another, oh, there's our little rabbit popping out of the teapot. And here we have another one, except it's in pink. And you can see the butterfly a little better, and you can see it has a little spoon there too. Oh my gosh, so many beautiful things to share. And then Back when we did April, uh, Alice in Wonderland, you decorated these books for it, right? Yes, I transformed the part of these books into, um, into just display little books. I got them at the thrift store. I just added some um, ribbon on the binding to cover up the uh, title. And then I just added some flowers and it's really cute. But they turned out good. Look at the little keys, guys. Aren't they cute? They're different too, because didn't you buy a bag of keys or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have a bunch of different keys. So don't forget, we're going to do a great lot of displays in April. Mm -hmm. uh, and every, every day. Every day in April, so keep in mind, there's more to come. Don't ever think that Grandma is going to run out of ideas, because i got Debbie here helping me like crazy. Okay, let's go see what other things we can find. Oh my find. gosh, Debbie, this is such a cute little case. Where'd you get the case at? Um, I don't recall, I believe possibly Ross or um, Hobby Lobby because I bought it for um, a baby shower I was doing and the color was perfect for my Paris room so that's where it lives, is in my room. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring it down here and put some cute little items in it. And then her friend made this beautiful little, this is a paper teapot. Mm -hmm. And she put it together, and then of course the flowers also. Now we also notice that this has a fairy. You know, everything has to have a fairy somewhere. So I'm going to try and pull it out a little bit so you can get a look. Okay. Let's prop it up on here so you can see the detail. You see all the detail on all of it? How beautifully she's done. I'm just getting the teapot. Loved it how it turned out, just beautiful. She did, she did a great job with all the color and design and the pearls, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. She did she does all different kinds of teapots, different styles, colors. So I'm excited to to buy other ones to go with other things that we're going to be working on. And then of course you got this wonderful sign. Uh, would you like an adventure? Or shall we have tea first? And where'd you get this whole sign at? Um, I think I bought it on Amazon. Okay, so it wasn't from a secondhand store or no. nothing. And then you got this cute little book down here with Alice saying, Alice Adventures in Wonderland. Yeah, and I bought that from a lady. It's got all kinds of um, little um, cards and cutout, paper cutouts. and. So I just bought it um, just so that I can have it to do different crafts and stuff with it. So it is wonderful.